Hey, what's going on guys? Today's tutorial, I'll be covering how to set up an analog to digital converter. In this case, I'll be using uh, a Pi hat that utilizes the ADS1115. So just a quick note, analog to digital converters are pretty varied in their capabilities. So I'll leave a link in the description that goes over the specifications for the ADS1115. So that way you can evaluate if it is suitable for your use case. And as always, you can find the links to all the components I'm using as well as the link to the official write-up in the description below. So let's move on to the physical setup. So quickly going over some of the components here, I have a Raspberry Pi 4, three DuPont jumper cables, male to male, the ADC hat, as well as a test sensor. In this case, I'm using a capacitive moisture sensor. So the first thing you're going to do is take the included wiring harness on the moisture sensor and attach it to the header. And then you're gonna move on to the ADC and attach the three cables to the screw terminals. So let me quickly throw up a diagram and walk you through the wiring. So on the ADC side, you're gonna plug in the orange cable to 3B3, the yellow to AN0, and the green to ground. Then you're gonna match them on the opposing side to the moisture sensor. So the green goes to ground, orange goes to VCC, and yellow goes to A out. Just a quick note, um, I'll only be covering setting up one channel for this tutorial, but if you wanted to set up multiple sensors, you would follow the same wiring uh, scheme. The only difference being for each sensor, you'd have to change the yellow wire to the correct pin. So it would be AN1, 2, or 3, and then you'd have to double up on 3v3 and ground. So this is what it should look like once you have everything wired up. Uh, the final step is to attach the hat to the headers on the Raspberry Pi. So it'll look like this, and then at this point, you're ready to go. We just need to boot up the Pi and then set some things up on the OS. So let's hop over to the terminal. Okay, so I've SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi. If you're using the GUI, you can just open up a terminal and follow along. It'll be the exact same process. So the first thing we need to do is ensure that our I squared C interface is um, active. So we just need to run the command sudo raspy dash config. From here, we're gonna go to interfacing options and select I2C here, and then just hit yes. And then we get this um, success message and we can just go to finish. So at this point, we need to check to see if it's detecting our ADC hat. So the command we're going to run is sudo I squared C detect dash Y one. And then it should spit out this grid formation and it's usually set to 48 by default. There's a little jumper uh, thing that you can switch if you wanna use a different address. But if you see 48, that means everything is good to go. So at this point, we need to install the circuit Python library for the ADS1115. So the command that you're going to run is sudo pip3 install adafruit dash circuit python dash ADS1 times 15 and just hit enter. Okay, so now that it's done, let's clear screen real quick. So the a library includes a few examples that you can run right off the bat to check to see if your sensor is working. So if you navigate to the GitHub um, link for the ADS library, I'll leave a link in the description. There's actually an examples folder that Adafruit provides for some test scripts. So I'm going to go ahead and run the simple test. I'm going to modify it a little bit so that the output is more descriptive, but um, as you can see here, uh, the code's uh, pretty straightforward. It's just defined the um, input channel, so channel zero, and then it's just going and printing the value as well as the voltage. Okay, so I copied the simple test uh, script contents into a script that I called ADC test. So if we just inspect that real quick, uh, you can see the changes I made. I just added some uh, print descriptors here. So uh, chan zero is what's printing out. 
And then also, if you notice, like the Chan equals analog in ADSP0, I also added this commented line to demonstrate how you would add the additional sensors. So P0 is already defined. We have P1 and then 2 and 3. And then also you'd copy this print line with uh, you know, channel 1, 2, 3. Um, so yeah, that's basically the script setup and how it works. So if we go ahead and run that with pseudo python 3 adc test.py. So when I hit enter, you should see the channel number, the raw value, and the voltage. And then I'm going to quickly touch the sensor to change the capacitance. And then you should see the values change. So the script is running now. I'm touching the sensor and you can see that it is changing. And there you go. So we have verified that the ADC is working and the sensor is working. You can go ahead and stop the script. So that concludes the tutorial for today. Uh, in regards to the analog to digital converter with the Raspberry Pi. In the future, I plan on featuring um, specific analog sensors um, and showing you how to set them up with this platform. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. It's always appreciated. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for upcoming content. Peace.